Now, though, we went out at the beginning of last year, and one of our main <coughs> objectives was to, at the beginning of this year, was to make David Tour a pay-per-view star in America, which meant a great amount of media work. I don't think the people here realise just how many dozens and dozens of hours David spent with press and, and on the phone and conference calls and television studios throughout this year. And uh, in hindsight, it has been very mentally draining for him. Is that to say next time you'll do things differently? You'll try and keep it slightly more low-key? We have already decided that for this next fight in April, you know, we're going to let David's hands do the speaking. Yeah. yeah. And they will! Yeah. Back to the audience we go. Lisa, morning. Hi. Hi. Um, what I'd like to know, Kevin, is what has been so far the um, most, um, the highlight of your experience training with David Tua? Uh, I've had a number of highlights. In fact, like the last eight years with David has, has been the, the greatest time of my life. And remembering that, uh, you know, I boxed for 16 years and I won an Olympic silver medal and things that were, were quite special to me at the time. And I had three beautiful children. And But... The experiences that we have shared together over the last eight years have been absolutely overwhelming and have been something that have, has brought us very, very close together. Um, I, was, I was very, very satisfied when we finally secured the heavyweight championship fight for Dave because it had been a long time in the making and it was part of my job as a manager was to get David in a position to fight for the world title, then it's up to him to win it. So, you know, I was very proud of being able to do that Okay, we, we didn't uh, get the desired result the first time. So, you know, my goal now is to get David back there um, to do the work with the, with the contracts and the, and the management side of things and uh, to get David back fighting for the title, only this time to win it. Absolutely. Annual. 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 Thanks, Kat. Wonderful stuff, that but was, I... Uh, that yes. was... It was very emotional stuff. That was beautiful. I'll give you the check after this. <laughs> oh, man, what a <laughs> you're, you're a rich man now, so yeah. you can afford anything, my uh, friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think the big question is, what should David Tour do with his hair? Should he keep it like it is? Should we give it a bit of a braid look? Should we take it right off? What do you like? Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Leave it. Yeah. Do you like it like this? I love it. You we love, love it? it like that. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. <laughs> all I want to say is from all of us, we are so proud of you too. You have done so much for New Zealand sport. We love you and rock on the next fight. You're going to kill them. <laughs> Kevin, that Vegas shirt needs some filling out. So these are for you and Tania and your beautiful children. And David Tour, a couple of these, and that might just give it that extra lift. And that, oh, I'm sorry, that left top. That's it. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. David Tour, Kevin We feel so thrilled and so honoured that you two came on the show, but we want you to stick around for half a tick for a bit of a sing-along. Do you do a bit of the singing, David? <laughs> he sings. I used to. He's in Christmas he mode. Sings. I, I, he can I, sing. I feel uh, it now. But before we get into the singing bit, just a wee reminder that we do have a prize line and a wee reminder that it was this fabulous Whitman's chocolate hamper. Special package included a range of delicious chocolates and this gorgeous Bugs Bunny soft toy. You can take the time out this Christmas to indulge in the delights of the selection of fine chocolates from Whitman's enjoyed around the world since 1842. And the winner is Sam. Andy Stevenson from 